Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, it's Sue from 1A Auto, and today we're working on our 07 Mazda 3 with a 2.0 liter in it. And we're going to be showing you how to remove the battery, clean the terminals, clean the battery, and restall. If you need any parts for your car, come on over to 1AAuto.com. Hood release is located right here. Safety latch is right above the Mazda symbol, right in the center. And you just turn it over to the right. And then you have the hood prop rod, and you put it in where the arrow goes and says rod, right in there and lock it in. To change the battery or to remove the battery, we need to remove the battery cover, which clearly states it's the battery underneath, the positive and negative with the symbol. We're going to pull on some of these tabs here, lift it up, and there's our battery. So when you have battery hold down bolts that look like this, um, it's best to let those soak for a little bit with some penetrating spray because we don't want to break the hold down studs. Yep. So this is a 10 millimeter socket. I've sprayed it and let it soak for a little bit. I'm going to back this bolt right out. Take the nut off. Before I take it all the way off, I'm going to see if this side will break free. Now we have the hole down, ready to come out. In this particular model, someone put it under the handle, which is fine. Now we can, this white corrosion needs to get cleaned up. What we do is we would put baking soda on it and soak it down with water. Let the baking soda eat away the corrosion and uh, be ready to put back in. Negative side is over here on the right side of this battery, closest to the cowl. Uh, this battery has aftermarket accessories to it, so they had bolted down the wire on the negative ground. This is 11 millimeter. Your car probably will not have this. It's not a factory setup, but once I take this off, you'll see the factory bolt. Now that's the factory terminal end. That is a 10 millimeter. Always disconnect the negative first, then the positive. Loosen that up, let's take it right off. Then we're going to disconnect the positive. This is a 10 millimeter bolt here. No need to take that all the way out. We just want to loosen the wedge part of it. Wiggle it, pull it off. And try to tuck everything up out of the way here. Now it's clear to take the battery out. So I'm going to clean the battery terminal ends. I have here a battery terminal cleaner brush. This is for top posts. That's for the post part and that's for the terminal end. Now I'm just going to take the wire brush, put it on there, spin it, lift it off, do the both positive side. Now I'm going to take a cleaner that you can buy at any parts store and it's a battery terminal cleaner <coughs> and I'm going to spray it on there and it's going to foam up. I'm going to let that really spread around and let it sit there and do its scrubbing. Then we'll pour some water over it and rinse it off into the tray. Now I've let that soak, I'm going to just wash it off with some water. And I did my hole down also. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to clean the terminal ends on the cables and we'll get ready to install that. Here we have the positive terminal. I'm just going to put the 
battery terminal brush in there, spin it around. And that's good and clean. I'll do the same to the negative side. Okay, get these out of the way, wipe the battery down and reinstall it. Okay, it's down there nice and tight. I'm gonna put the positive terminal on. Tighten that down. Make sure you put it all the way down. Some people put terminal ends on like that. That's a no. That's even a no. You want it all the way down. Part of the terminal up over the top. Once again, terminal ends are made out of like a soft metal. So if you really rank on that, you're gonna snap the ears off. So right now it's tight terminal on the end is not moving. I'm just going to turn it an eighth of a turn. That's nice and snug. And before I put the negative on, I'm going to put the battery terminal, I mean the battery holder back through. Put those two bolts on. Two nuts, sorry. I just did that because, just in case, while I slid it through, and I didn't want metal hitting anything and having a completed circuit by having the negative connected. Ten millimeter socket. Now I'm ready to install my negative terminal end in the accessory wire that they have. Once again, you don't want to over tighten it. It's nice. Put the accessory wire on that comes that they have something in the car. Like I said, your factory battery will not have these accessory wires. Snug that down. Replace my cover. This has two ears, plastic ears, that go into those guides back there. And the cover will snap down. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.